All right, so for this week's assignment, we are going to start out with the one we worked on last week, which was in shop part one. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and save a copy of this for us to work on. Um, all right now, it's going to retain all of this setup information and all that stuff, but I'm going to go ahead and just save a copy so you know I've I've got multiple models. Um, you know, it, it's a little bit better than these versions when you've got multiple models. Um, all right, so I'm going to go right here, file, save as. I'm just going to save this as in shop part two. All right, so now I've got another one over here. And it also opened that. So it closed my old one and it opened my, my new one. All right. Now, we're going to go back over here to design, and we're going to make some modifications to this part. Now, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to cut a notch in the side of this. So we're going to just have a, a spot right here that we're going to cut out, and we're going to drill and, well, spot drill, drill, and tap a couple of holes. I right? just want to cover um, the contours, which is what we're going to be using over here, and then we're going to want to do the uh, the drills, you know, the, the center drill or spot drill, drill tap. All right, so first thing I'm gonna wanna do is create a sketch on this top plane. All right, and I'm gonna start with a rectangle. And just gonna draw it like that. And I'm gonna highlight if you drag from this way, there we go. I'm gonna make all those construction, all those lines construction. Um, now let me let me kind of revisit that. I right, I can go in here and select all these lines, but if you've got a million lines that you need to select, you don't want to do that. Um, now. Autodesk is has just always been this way. If you drag, if and what I'm doing is I'm right clicking and dragging up. If you do that, anything that that box touches, it's going to highlight. But if you drag from the left to the right, anything this box completely encompasses will highlight. So I'm going to I'm going to do that and then I'm going to turn them to construction. Okay? All right? The next thing I'm going to do is dimension this just going to call that 2.5. And here we're going to go 3 inches. Okay? So we've got our locations laid out so we're going to put a hole here, here, here and here. All right? Now um, it's much better to do it this way as opposed to just plopping holes down because if you need to modify them, they're easy to modify this way. But if you've got eight different dimensions up there, uh, it, it's, a, it's a lot that you've got to change. So this way of drawing is a, is a little bit more, uh, I guess, dynamic would be the, uh, the word. All right. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to grab the point tool. And I'm simply going to put a point at each of these intersections. Okay. Now, after we do that, we're going to get out of this sketch. And I'm going to grab the hole tool. Okay. Now, you got two different selections here. You've got at point, which is just a single hole or you've got from a sketch, which is multiple holes, all right? So we're gonna obviously select this one and our sketch points, one, two, three, four. Don't worry if yours looks different than mine, it just defaults to that big giant hole, all right? So the extents, all right? How, how am I dictating how deep this hole goes? Am I just giving, giving it a distance from where I selected it? Am I telling it to go to something? Or am I saying go through all? 
All right, we're going to go through all. Okay. Now, my whole type, you got simple, counter bore, counter sink. We're going to go simple, whole tap type, simple, clearance, tap, or taper. You know, like a, a countersunk and tapped hole, which I think is, is weird, but it is what it is. So we're going to go tapped hole. All right, we're going to go full thread all the way through. And our drill point's going to go all the way. It's going to be on there, but it's going to go all the way through. This, the drill point and the thread offset, that doesn't really matter unless you're not going all the way through. Okay. Um, so we're going to go down here and we're going to pick quarter inch. Quarter 20. And okay. Now, I, I want you to I want you to notice something, and th this is going to come into play when you get a little bit higher level of uh, of of cam. But when I click that, I've got like a nice round surface to click. Right now, if I was to go back and modify this, say Edit Feature. And if I modeled them, if I modeled the threads, look at that weird shape that I've got now. So if I wanted to come in and chamfer this with like a drill mill, then I would have to select this weird contour right here, which is truly the way it would look, but it's not going to give us a clean chamfer. So if you're modeling something for it to look pretty, sure model the threads but if you're modeling something that you're going to be actually manufacturing uh, then then it's probably a good idea to not model those threads okay all right so we've got that and then we are going to edit a sketch we're going to create a sketch mine's acting up today mine's not wanting to do it that way so we'll go create sketch here All right, now we're gonna offset a line a quarter inch this way. All right, so how we're gonna do that is we're gonna use the project tool. So we're gonna project from here up. So what that did is it projected that line. So if I hide my bodies, it projected that line. All right, now why does that matter? Like, why, why would we ever, why didn't we just draw a line? An answer to that's pretty, pretty simple. I'm going to finish this sketch and we're going to come back to it. I just want to show you something. If I was to go back and change this to a six inch block. And if all I did was drew a line, then it may or may not update. All right. But now that everything is driven off of that projection, my line updated so it's still it's still it's in the correct location and so let's go back over here edit profile okay so we've got that that line projected let's go right over here to sketches i'm going to edit that sketch so now we're back in that sketch I'm just going to click O for offset. If you do not have that as a uh, as a hotkey, you can always go right here to create. No, oh, never mind. It's under modify, and go offset. You see that O right there? That's my hotkey for offset. Okay, so I'm offsetting. I'm going to offset this line, not the chain. You see how it tried to select. The entire perimeter of the part so I deselect chain okay and if I go 0.25 you see it goes to the other side I want that to that side so, okay then we're gonna just draw a line 
and I'm gonna kind of cheat here a little bit. I'm just gonna draw a line from there to there. Okay. And then we are simply going to dimension from here up. Just call it one inch. Here to here, call it one inch. Okay. Now, we've got our little chunk here that, that we're going to remove. So that's going to be the chunk that we remove. Now, we can, we can stop right here. We can just click E for extrude or, and then just, just come over here and buzz that out. Now, th this is a good time to, to, to explain it, though. Um, this is technically, oh, no, I guess because we projected that line. I was going to say it's, uh, it's technically an open boundary, but this one here is definitely an open boundary. So we've got a line here, a line here, and a line here. So, in other words, this line here is not in our current sketch. So that, that's what's called an open contour or an, uh, not necessarily an open contour, but an open sketch. All right, now some CAD packages uh, will not let you extrude that section unless you close that out, All right? Uh, on this software, it's a little bit more intuitive, so it lets you do it. Just, uh, just letting you know for when you get out there in industry. So we're gonna cut that, I'll tell you what, let's cut that. 250 deep. Okay. Now, you look at that and you think, how am I going to machine that? There's no way we can, not with those square corners. I, you know, I mean, of course, we can EDM it or something like that, but as far as mill work, we're not going to be able to do those corners. So we need to go in and put some fillets on it so fillet right there we're just going to do a nice little corner round i'm going to click there and there now if we put a 0.2 fillet on there that is going to let us use an eighth inch end mill all right, now I'll explain that here. In a, I, I said eighth inch, three eighth inch in mill. Okay, now let me let me explain that, and then I'll close this video out. So if this is my cutter, and let's just make it 0.5 for now. So if this was my cutter and I had a half inch tool. Look at what's gonna happen when it tries to get in there and cut that. Cutter is not going to be able to get in there. Now, if I change this to 0.375, now all of a sudden, looks like I've got some constraints. So now I can get in there. Come on. So now I can get in there and cut that effectively. Not by much, but I, I can get in there and cut that. All right. So those those radii, that's that's gonna dictate what tool you have to use. All right. So if you've got something that's got a uh, hundred thousandths uh radius in the corners there, then you're not gonna be able to go in there and cut it with a half inch end mill, right? So you're you're gonna have to be smart about that and think about it. All right, so I'm gonna delete that. All right, so there's your part. And obviously. Uh, you need to be saving this. So just as simple as uh, control S. All right. So, I mean, and, and all you got to do is just control S, hold control, hit S, and that saves it. Um, and trust me on this, that's something that you want to do, 
right? That's uh, not something that you that you want to get three hours worth of work done and then not save it. All right. Um, so that is going to do it for this video. Um, so we've got the CAD for, for the next week's assignment. And all we're going to do is drill and tap these holes. And then we're going to cut out this with a contour. Okay.